Hello everyone, how are you? In this video, I am going to show you a space saving Power BI custom visual card with an example. And in which scenario you can use custom visual card. Let us start. So on your screen, you can see we have I have a different kind of the bar chart and on the country wise sales. This is the sales report country wise sales and the business segment wise and there is a average sales by category wise and on the top you can see there will be the data card where total order quantity average order quantity and minimum order quantity and maximum order quantity. So you can see this is the three uh, four data card and this is the data card is a standard data card. But if I can tell you I don't have that much space, you give me all these four into a one. How you'll do that? So that today I'm going to explain you. Please stay tuned. So let us go to the demo page. So here we have a different layout, the same the business segment and all this bar chart, pie chart is there. And here I have a small space and I want to display everything all all four information here only in one card okay so no worries so let us go here and go to the custom visual and type here rotating so here there will be the rotating tiles you have to select this one rotating tiles. So I have already added, so I'm, I'm not going to add this one. So skip here. And uh, after that, let me add the rotating tile tiles here. So this is the rotating tiles. So let me beautify this little bit. I will say and I will go here. OK, let me come here and this is my data set and I say. I will add a order quantity and this is the sum, so I will rename it and I will say total order quantity. Total order quantity now my next will be the. Average order quantity. Now my this one is minimum average quantity. Now my fourth one is maximum. OK. Let me come here and say set the background. Background will be some light color and there will be the border color. I will add a border also and I'll see the red color. OK. Now see here. The minimum maximum of order quantity. Total order quantity. So all four, four will be displayed into a one card. So now we'll look more setting. So some are the standard setting. So you can see the the flip uh, vertical flip. So if I click here, it will be like this. Earlier it was rotating. So now if I. Now if I will click here. So it will be different. It displaying the different uh, style. Now there will be the 3D effect. If I click on the 3D effect, it will be the different effect and the, in the 3D effect, I can choose the color. And border color, I will say something red. So this this will be the different color. So let me select the lighter one. OK, so this is one setting and here there will be the animation setting. This is the delay in second. So let me reduce by two so it will be. More faster. So Label setting, you can do the label setting. This is related to the your data. If you want to display in the millions, billions, trillions, or here you can increase, decrease the size of this one. So and the decimal, how much decimal place you want. So other are the standard uh, uh, 
uh, standard setting, so I would not go, uh, go to the standard setting if you want a title and all this. So this is the very nice and if you have a less places, you can display the whatever you want. And like, you know, if I want to display one more thing here, not only quantity, I want to display the customer count, how many customer I have. So I click on the customer mm -hmm. and I will say the distinct count. So this is the distinct count. Now it is displaying the distinct count of the customer, total quantity, average quantity, etc. So this is very nice if you have a very less space. So uh, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.